Hi everyone, this is Kiri with another layout for Brabble Fox. And this is the first layer I've made using the lovely spring themed April Fox Bolts. Um, also using the brand new Fox Cut Rainbow Stencil that comes with the Fox Box Plus subscription and the new Spring Flowers set of perspectives. Okay, so what have I done here? I have pulled out an older collection. I'm determined to try and do some stash busting. So it's an Heidi Swap collection from last year called Sun Chaser. And um, I've just got sort of obviously bits and pieces left. So I've just got these three torn pieces that I'm going to use um, in a horizontal design across my layout page. And what I'm just doing here is I'm really trying to give a quite a distressed curled feel to the edge of the torn paper. So um, this is using some so I spray some water down the edge and this just sort of helps break down the sort of paper fibers so you can really curl them and get quite a lot of distressed definition and then I am um, just drying it off here with the heat gun and that effectively sets it so it sort of sets hard in that position if you like um so just adding quite a lot of extra um um definition there and texture are using that particular technique. So I've got them all done now and I'm just sort of working out where things are going to go. And I've pulled out the lovely new rainbow stencil. Um, however, I'm using the rain cloud part of it um, because I've got this photo here that I've had sat there for ages and it's of me and my husband and my mum and dad. And it goes back about six years. It's 2017 when mum and dad were visiting from Australia and we were doing a bit of a sort of two week trip around Cornwall and Devon and they really wanted to do St Michael's Mount and honestly we got there and it was absolutely chucking it down and we were sat in the car thinking what are we going to do what are we going to do and we waited a while but we knew we had to go for it because we weren't going to get another chance we probably wouldn't you know with them certainly so um we certainly we we did go for it and actually the weather did improve but it's absolutely chucking it down when we were sort of having to walk across the causeway area so um, yeah, so it's a photo of us looking very wet and wind, wind, uh, you know, wind blown and what have you, because it really, really was. Um, but it was well worth it. Anyway, so what I've done there, I took the stencil and I've just um, used the rain cloud part on the stencil. I've taken a distress oxide and in the speckled egg, I think then speckled egg, and um, and I've just used one of those lovely new blending brushes because they're perfect for when you want to really just get some small detail with stenciling because they're quite small, so really really lovely to work with, and you can really build up um, the color well with the um, with the little blending brushes as well. So you can just add a bit and just keep working it in. So I've got that one up there, but I will add some further stenciling um, below the pattern papers as well. So <clears throat> I've just got the photo and I've got the umbrella I was playing with the idea of taking the umbrella off where the umbrella actually is on the photo but I didn't do that in the end it just didn't look right as much as I kept trying it before I was sort of before I started filming so um and here I decided yeah I'm adding a few more I'm adding some more of the raindrops there um and then I've got those two little cute blue cloud perspectives from the April fox box that I'm going to add to that here to that area above there Okay, so I've now mounted my photo. I've just mounted it in a dark, slightly darker, it's sort of like a raspberry pink colour because I just wanted to get a little bit more definition um, for the photo against the pattern papers. And then I'm just sitting that across the top of the, um, the curled distressed edges of the pattern papers because it sits up, the photo actually sits up as well because of those distressed edges. And then I'm going to get the perspective stuck down, the Good Life title in that really lovely sort of minty green. And um, and again, that's effectively that's being stuck on those sort of curled edges because they sit up and they're, they're firm now because they've been dried with the hot gun. Um, the, the, yeah, they've been, because they've been dried, they're quite sort of firm edges. So that's just sitting up over them, which just gives them, again, another, another nice bit of dimension. And then I'm pulling out some of the um, embellishments from the Heidi Swap Sun Chaser collection and just working out what I'm going to do. I sort of had in mind, I was going to work with a vertical design um, going down. So I've got the papers going across and then this sort of vertical design coming down. And there was a lot of sort of like, um, journaling type stickers, etc. that I had. There wasn't, there was some ephemera, but 
wasn't quite right. So I sort of worked with um, quite a few of those stickers. And that's actually where I add my journaling at the end. So I'm just sort of working out which ones I'm going to sort of layer up. I add some um, foam tape to some of them. So again, um, they're not just all stuck down flat. Um, and then I just keep it running effectively down off the layout there. Some of the stickers have got a nice little bit of sort of foil detail. So it gives a little bit of shine. And then I've got a couple of little banner stickers. I start to add in the all smiles there. I've got the star and I'm going to add in the one of the, uh, the umbrellas. So I've got the pale pink umbrella and then there's also the minty green. There we go. I'm just going to pop it up there to the left of the photo. And then I'll bring in some of the little puffy stickers, um, different ones I've got there. I've got enjoy and have fun. I mean, we certainly did have fun as much as it was raining. It was actually quite a laugh because we were honestly just getting really quite well on this day but it was as I said it was really well worth it okay so I'm just playing around with um, where things are going to um, sit here um, and then I can get them stuck down so of course the fox box is a fabulous monthly um, subscription of acrylic embellishments that you can get delivered to your door and um, they also have the we also have the new the fox box plus subscription where you also get as well as the fabulous perspectives you get the latest stencil sheet of paper snips and the DIY epoxy flare stickers. So um, well worth um, making sure you don't miss out on any of the fabulous Bramble Fox um, perspective designs. So pop on over to bramblefox.co.uk to find out all the details. Okay, so here we go, go uh, going in now. So I, as I said, I'm adding in some more of just the raindrops element from the little cloud and raindrops piece there on the stencil. Just sort of Again, working that in to my um, vertical design, um, just running down the page. I'll get a few more in down the bottom as well. And that, again, using that distress oxide in the speckled egg. It was quite soft and it sort of matched in with the, the greeny tones that, I, that, that are there in the pattern papers. And then... I have to confess, I really, really struggled with this first layout this particular month. Honestly, you know, we talk about scrapbookers, you know, losing their mojo. And I definitely did when I was really trying to start um, a layout for this month's um, design team um, projects. I actually had a layout done. I didn't like it. I pulled it apart. I started it again. Still didn't like it. So it's now sat over there on my desk and I'm, I'll go back to it and I will play around with it. But I really just had to walk away and I had to start again. So this is the second one I started. Um, but it honestly does really happen. That scrapbooking, you know, loss of mojo is a definite thing. And I I am, I was definitely, definitely looking for where is it? Where has it gone? Um, when I started doing these um, layouts um, this month. No idea why, but, you know, sometimes it is what it is, isn't it? So anyway, it finally, I finally, this came together, um, you know, after quite a bit of trial and error, to be completely honest. So it happens to everyone. So getting these um, perspectives stuck down, again, using glossy accents, which is my sort of preferred glue because it gives a nice strong hold. Um, and then what am I going to do? Um, next yeah making sure that they're all stuck down nice and tight I do have a little look more at some of the little tiny puffy stickers oh there's a little word one there that I'm adding in wander and roam um and then there is a little rainbow that I pop in there but I do actually change that I actually add in some of the little half circle um puffy stickers um I think a little bit later and there's a few hearts there that I do I do add to it as well um, and then I think I've got my journaling to add and, oh, that's right, I did look at it and think I just needed to add something more. So I pull out some embroidery thread and decided to just add a little bit more to the, um, to the journaling um, stickers that I've got on the, that I've stuck down. So I'm just going to add a few cross stitches. So just using my little template there, and I'm just going to pop a few um, stitches in around um, the layout. So just again, it just felt like there was something, I needed something more because I don't have too many embellishments on here, to be fair. Um, it's sort of layered, you know, journaling stickers versus sort of decorative, I guess, 
icons and things like that. So, um, yeah, so I'm working in some um, stitches just a couple of cross stitches on a couple of, uh, on a few of the journaling cards and um i also pulled out the pretty it's the spring flowers set the perspectives and it's a newer one to the shop and i did just add a few of those um in the mint green and the pale pink as well just they sort of match into the um the good life and the umbrella colors so um, i just added those to the to my vertical design just a few of the little flowers they're very cute they come in a set with the sort of little flowers there's some open flowers and some butterflies and some little green leaves so really sweet I love those sorts of um, sets because they're perfect for just adding into um, embellishment clusters okay so here are the close-ups um, you can see the um, fabulous perspectives from the April Fox box the stenciling detail and the spring flowers set thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you again in my next one bye for now